Hi guys, Alan Salmon here and welcome to the second lesson where we're checking out some things we can do with triad shapes. In our first lesson we just learned how to play these basic major and minor triads in a few different areas of the neck. This time around we're going to look at what they can do for you. First of all, they just give you another way of playing the same chord. So where that might come in useful is if you're playing with another musician, maybe another guitar player, or even on a recording. If the other person is playing this, voicing of a G major chord, you could complement that by playing a different voicing of the same chord. Now that works really well in a recording situation, because what you can do is maybe pan the first guitar part to the left, the second one to the right, and hear how they work together. The next thing we can do with these same triad shapes is maybe just move the notes around a little bit more and get a little bit more harmonic movement happening. Now you don't have to understand this from a theory point of view, you can just use your ear and kind of move the notes around a little bit and see what you can find. So let's start here with this G major chord. This happens to be the third of the chord. We could move it up a bit. Let your ear tell you what the right note is. Go down. So that's the third, up to the fourth, third, down to the second degree of the scale, the major scale. Same thing here. There's the fourth, third, second. So it's a really nice way of making a second guitar part. Works just the same with minor chords. It's a little G minor. Let's say we'll move this G up to the A, or the second degree of the scale. You can just let your ear guide you and tell you what the right note is. Thanks very much guys, I hope you have fun experimenting with some of those ideas, and see you next time.